Hello and welcome to Chinivision 2, where I am again looking through eBay listings on a Sunday night. It is about 5pm on a Sunday evening, Sunday, 27th November 2022. I know I did this about, about six weeks ago, but this is by popular demand because quite a few people said, can you do it again? Can you go through eBay on a Sunday evening and see what is out there? So yeah, here we are. And we're going to start off looking at, well, I've got search on the screen there, Amstrad CPC 464 computer. So we've got a computer there I wanted, actually. Actually, no, that one says powers on, see description. Well, let's let's sort them by ending soonest. That's probably the easiest. Right, so we've got a vintage Amstrad CPC 464 computer. Collect only, a finishing in 21 minutes. So it's actually about 4.30, then about 4.40. 4.40 at the moment, if that's 5 p.m. i um, not looked at the clock properly. I was going to guess what the time was. So we've got a 464. TV works, but computers, since I put in storage, won't switch on. So got to list as not working. Don't bid if you don't intend to buy. This got sold once, but buy didn't pay or collect, so relisted. Right, so we've got a monitor on. We've got no red LED on the 464. So I'm going to diagnose this right now. Either he can't locate the on-off switch on the back of the CPC, which is unlikely, or he's turned it on and it hasn't powered into life, which means either the 5 volt DC in connector on the 464 has oxidized. That's fairly common. Happens a lot. I've, I've had it with machines I've just put into storage here, got it out again and no deoxid on it and then it suddenly bursts into life or more likely because it hasn't been turned on in probably 25 to 30 years the on off switch has oxidized and again deoxid on the on off switch and the machine will suddenly spring into life as if it was 1984 they it's just something that happens some people say replace the switch do not replace the switch the switch is fine all that's happened is its oxidization and the 5 volt DC isn't enough to bridge the bridge the kind of oxidi oxidization so you just need to clean it but I can guarantee this CPC almost certainly works because if the light was on and we had a blank screen then I'd be concerned but the fact the light is not on and we've got a blank screen suggests to me it's a DC power input problem and it's either the DC in connector or the on off switch. Uh, we have, what's this here? It's a GT64 module and power supply for the cutter CPC464, similar to Amstrad. Right, a Snyder GT64 monitor i.e. an Amstrad. The GT64 is the one without the disk drive uh, power supply built in. And it's all in German. I don't know why I've got German stuff on here. Probably because I haven't got, I'm not logged in. Amstrad CPC 46, £235. Oh, no bids. That's fair enough. Um, Amstrad CPC 464 computer mainframe in used condition for parts, right? So it's a post 88 model. We can tell that from the Amstrad logo because it's got the stripe through it. What's it say? Absolutely, why don't people put stuff in their list? All oh, right, Amstrad CPC 44 computer, right, nothing there. Uh, I can guarantee it almost certainly works. It's got one bid on it. I think it's contract. And the other one, by the way, the one we looked at before was collection only, if I didn't mention that. Uh, Power's on, see descriptions. Right. Mm, at least they've run a cloth over it. They probably listed that as refurbished. That is some horrific tablecloth. I mean, it's fitting for the 464, really fits the key. So nice bit of kind of, you know, from an aesthetic point of view, it, it's great. But uh, yeah, uh, I pray to God that's not your dining room table. 
Amstaff Forces for computer testing to be able to load a game as shown in the pictures, not fully tested, but you've tested tested to be able to load a game as shown in the pictures, not fully tested, so sending for parts, but it does appear to work. You've loaded the game, so what have you found that's wrong? Because if it's loaded the game, what's what's the issue? I can't see what the issue would be. It's a CPC 464 that's working. That works. You've loaded the Empire Strikes Back. You've got keyboard control, so you don't even need to... And you've read... Well, you either redefine them as QA or OP. But it, this is a 464 that works. So what, what's wrong here? And it's a long board as well. Or is it? I can't remember which way around it goes. No, it is a long board. It's a long board. Because it's got the monitor and 5 volt DC down the end there. What have you been doing there? Hmm. Yeah, something about, something about that doesn't strike me as quite right. Couple of... Well, that's got to be dealers, isn't it? That's got to be dealers. Any 6128s on? Sorry, I do, I do generally start off with Amstrad stuff because it's the stuff if I was in the market I would be browsing for. We got here any computers? Copies of Sultan's Maze that someone's going to not bungly. Rare external floppy, five and a quarter inch. Oh, that's in France. Look at the state of that. Look at, oh, oh. I suppose it's, um, yeah, that's a. Uh, Wow, that's that's home built. That that power cord gives me the <laughs> gives me nightmares. Yeah. There's six on two eight on. Take computer out. Oh, that's one. £34, five days. Disk drive, can't test it. That's fair enough. Probably needs a service. If you're buying a 6128, the disk drive is going to need a service. It's not going to need a new belt. Chances are it will need a full service if it's been sitting around since the probably the mid-90s, not moving. Uh, my Both my 6128 sound extremely lethargic, even though they've got new belts, because they need looking at. Simple as. Two hundred fifty pounds for a six one two eight and a monitor. No, nope. a rare vertical CPC six one two eight there. Oh no, no, no! One hundred ninety nine pounds for the serial interface. I bet you someone makes that a modern equivalent. With <laughs> I mean, what? They let their pet rats run around in that box. Yeah, £199 for that? No. I bet someone makes a modern equivalent that's far, far better. Oh, good. Someone's been stripping CPCs again. £10 for an on-off switch. Right, OK, let's let's go into this. Firstly, these on-off switches are incredibly well built. So unless it doesn't click anymore, all it needs is deoxit. That's it. Secondly, they are a common, as far as I'm aware, they're a perfectly commonly available port part. So you could go to RS or someone and just buy one of these. You don't have to buying these off the shelf. They're common. I don't see why you're shelling out £10 plus 36, £30 postage, £31 postage to get hold of one of these. Oh, it, it, it does this guy strip. Titan to IO. Are they stripping machines down? 
Okay, setting out. It's a dealer. Wonder Woman. <laughs> what stands out here? Disney pin. Yeah, they've got a load of. I don't know if they're stripping machines. Let's try and sound for CPC. Because people who strip. No, he's just got that on there. <laughs> oh. 6128 plus 1,023 pounds 96 pence. Uh, do you get free postage? No, your postage is 215 pounds via DHL. And it's listed as a Dragon 32 European PAL model. If you're going to list a machine for a thousand pounds, aren't you going to get the listing correct? And now we've got, okay, we've got the proper. Description for 6128 plus. I wouldn't pay. I mean, it's got a monitor, but I mean, it's got the box, but I just. I can't imagine having that kind of money. How much money would you have to have to be spending a thousand pounds on a CPC? And wouldn't you, if you had that kind of money, much rather have something like, I don't know, a Maserati sitting on the driveway. And if you do have a Maserati sitting on the driveway, are you really wanting to have an Amstrad CPC 6128 Plus? Because you're probably flying around in your solid gold helicopter with Samantha Fox or whoever is the equivalent these days. I don't know. It seems nuts. So I'm over here typing. I have to move away from the microphone to type. I can't see the keyboard otherwise. What we got this evening in the world of Spectrum. Let's go ending soonest. So we've got, oh, in one hour, 90 minutes, a, we've got a specky ending there. Okay, well, let's have a look at this. It's a nice bundle. 32 pounds, that's going to go up. Oh, I imagine that's going to go about 60 quid. What's wrong with it? Spectrum probably is broken or not tested. We've got, they sold a million. You've got some good budget games there. You've got Horace Go Skiing, Attic Attack in the same box I've got, the non-expensive uh, version. Uh, Kong, My Ocean, Dizzy. I've, we've got a fairly solid starter pack of games there. If you buy this, this is the first Spectrum. What's that Kicks? I can't see where that Kicks game is down there. Heroes of the Lance. I've never... It's a Dungeons & Dragons game. Run away. Yeah, it's pretty manky, but you can buy a new faceplate from that problem. You know, well, you can, and it probably needs a new membrane, so that's not an issue. Power, ooh, look, what's going on here with this power supply? Yeah, that's been... Well, these power supplies were so... Well, they were infamous for the cords breaking, weren't they? And I've got one that has a broken cord, and... They were so fragile originally that there was a recall. So I'm not surprised that's got a different power cable on it. Well, that's a bit how you're doing, isn't it? Uh, that's just kind of with the black and red cable. What's all this other stuff here? Is that another power supply for the Spectrum? Don't know. Let's go back into that one. And over. Bundle is not working, spares or repairs. Computer is not powering on. Cassette player is untested, so selling it as spares or repairs. Thing is, if tuning a Spectrum into a modern TV is a nightmare, and it probably won't even lock on to a Specky. So, is and because there's no LED or indication the machine is on or off, is the machine working or isn't it? You, you, don't, you don't know what test the, the seller has done. But to be honest, if you're buying one of these and use it as a daily driver, then you're probably going to have to have it recapped and kind of looked after anyway. So any additional repairs, unless it's something kind of unique like the ULA, aren't necessarily a problem. RAM chips are cheap. £32 for that bundle, I'd take a punt on it. It's probably going to go up to about 50 isn't it? Or in an hour? Um, 45 47 something like that. I've got no need for one because I've got really got a spare 
Spectrum Plus, uh, Spectrum 48K, sorry. But that's a nice little bundle. I'm not too offended by the price. Plus the motherboard, £25, 1 to 8K. So the, I wonder what year these are, because I've always wanted a plus, plus 3 uh, B. That is week 587 on that Z80, so that one's a no. And that is week 187 on the oh week 4886 so i was a little i was looking i might be looking at the wrong chip on the last one as well just look desire log and went well no oh we look it's a plus two let's look at the plus two great plus two the daily oh what's happened to the sinclair logo someone's been someone's been someone, someone's mum has been too uh ferocious with the mr sheen when they were cleaning the owner's room and has rubbed all the red off the the plus two there but the plus two as i often say is the daily driver spectrum it's the one you can take to the supermarket it's the one you can pretty much take anywhere it's your I'm trying to think of a it's your ford fiesta of the uh spectrum computing world that you have your you have your your toast toast rack 128k to take down to the south of france it's your maserati it's your ferrari but this one the plus two the gray plus two is the one to own because it just does everything and it does it well. It's never going to win any awards for looks or being the sexiest spectrum or being desirable. But they're cheap, they're plentiful, and they just do everything. £49? Mm. Um, for one that's got no red on the bits, probably not. But you can buy them untested like I did the other week. The last one we saw in the last video of these, I bought it. And it was untested, not sold is not working. Got it here. Of course it worked. It's fine. Oh, I need to clean. I'm going to do a video on it, just showing what I'm going to do to it. Um, plus three. Always command big prices, plus threes. They look nice. I have two of them. Big chunky power spy. They just look... It's, it's the black look, isn't it? It's a proper Sinclair look. I don't know what Amstel were thinking of with grey, to be honest. Probably not a great grey plastic. Oh, they've gone to Retro Computer Shack for the power... For the... For the monitor cable um although they haven't opened it so perhaps they're trying to sell it as a bundle with that new scott lead included um if it's, is it tested as working so you fit a new belt you fitted you're setting it with new scott lead but you're not telling anyone it works or not that seems so many ebay listings are just rubbish because they all, one extra photo showing you actually having loaded something you'll get so many more bidders you get more money for it. you show something working then you know you'll get more money for it and it just gives people peace of mind but the one i looked at earlier no it's not is it another bundle it's another bundle with a 48k the games aren't as no, that's a that's not a decent bundle in terms of stuff. I mean, two. <laughs> oh no, it's different. Different. Learn to read is different. A different. You got learn to read two and learn to read four. Um, and learn to read five. You got Lotus Lotus down there. A lot of cover tapes. Mm, no. Oh, I'll. With, I'm not in for that one. Um, untested. Here you go. An untested plus two. With five hours to go. It's got all its red on it. They haven't wiped it over. It's come out of the loft. Uh, single Spectrum 128K. Untested. For that money, I would give it a punt. In fact, for 30 quid, I would give it a punt. Because even if it doesn't work, you can probably repair it. And even if that stage, um, if it's like the one I had with all the fried RAM chips in it and it's just a mess, I've still got a spare case and everything else on it. I mean, when you buy one of these, you probably... What I did with the, what I did with my Plus 2 that I used for Chini Vision 
is I put a new cassette motor in it, not just the belt, but I put a whole new motor in it because it was so noisy. Um, uh, new voltage regulator, a new belt, cleaned it all up. It worked. Um, and it's fine. And chances are you'll get that and it will be absolutely fine. Um, or, you know, it <laughs> could be broken, but I'd take it you know, for the money, uh, you know, for 30 quid, at the worst, you've got a load of parts. Um, depends how you kind of approach these things, really, isn't it? Um, what am I doing there? Uh, got some plus two A's. I like the look of the plus two A. I just don't. Oh, someone's, again, someone's stripping stuff. Okay, well, it's only 99p for plus bottom. Which I'm in the market for a 48k bottom. But not urgently. Um, okay, is this guy... Who are they? Oh, it's... You see, I don't wonder how do they end up with... The case, but no innards. Two case bottoms, one case top. Yeah, I, I'm unsure. Oh, that's the heat sink. Hang on. Ugh. So are they stripping them? Original heat sink. Oh, you should be honest, if you're missing a heat sink, you might as well fashion something a little bit better. Unless, because no one's going to see it. No more Spectrum stuff. We're not going to funny find he's selling all the... No. Let's try Commodore 64. Oh, dear, what have I done there? Oh, it's a Mini. Run away. Why can't I do that? This video is going to be quite long, but uh, Chini Vision 2 needs the hours, so because we need to get to 4,000 watch hours, so I'm not going to hold back. Commodore 64 keyboard. Colour logo? That's been stuck on by someone afterwards, hasn't it? I've never seen one with a colour logo. When they say keyboard... Right, okay. They mean computer. Found a working power supply. I'm not sending the power supply with it. And bread bin there for 167. I'd like to have a spare bread bin, really. I'm Cover. Case, rather. Not a lot of excitement here from C64 scene this evening. C64C. Five days left on that bread bin. 40. What's that say? All major ICs socketed. Unit came from computer shop. Closing sale 1990. No power supply. Label indicates 14 unrepairable workshop use only. See photo. So no test carried out, sold as seen. So if it's 40 non-repairable workshop use only, then, well, yeah, I mean... I mean, every machine's repairable. <laughs> so you've got the case, you can just stick a new board in. Worst comes to the worst. What, what's on here? Well, yeah, everything is socketed. So did... Right, ah, got me, we're, missing, we're missing stuff. Right, I'm not a CC4 expert, but we are... Uh, uh, I can tell you. Two seconds.
we are missing. I've got C64 board next to me. That's why. <laughs> but I can't tell you what's missing. I can tell you what's missing. We are missing chip AMI 8425LL and we're missing a MOS. No, we're not missing it. Yeah, we're missing a MOS chip there. We're missing 901.225. That's, that's interesting. I wonder, because I've got the chips, I could bid on this and get myself a bread bin. That would work, wouldn't it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, we'll have to make a note of that listing. Um, this is Chini Vision Live as me, my brain ticks over thinking, hang on, hang on. 50, 30 power. It's going to go for silly though, isn't it? What's that case look like? Ill. No, no, I'm not going to, I'm going to speak to Commodore Lad. I'll speak to Commodore Lad. We'll do this properly. Not some, not some machine that's been beaten up in a workshop. We won't do that. No. What's going on? I'm hearing vibrations. Sorry. Uh, let's see what is going on in the Amiga scene this evening. Not me computers. Rare genuine Commodore Amiga to VJ adapter. Nice chip, eighteen pounds. Uh, for 1200 and see what hideous abominations we have in tower cases oh look here we go no 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 what have they done here what's going on here that's not what i was expecting no 215 pounds for a desktop dynamite pack with two days to go no pass on that amiga 1200 195 21 bids Make 1200, Not very exciting, is it really? It's Trey Acorn. Electron for spares or repair, not working. Guarantee that probably does work. Usually what happens is the early models don't have anything fixing down the Gatorade chip. And over the years, they slightly lift up out the socket and when you come to turn them back on they don't work uh somebody on chinny vision discord had a dead elk they bought and i said press down on the gate array and then try turning it on and bingo it worked um that that is usually the problem with these they are pretty well built and it's usually that that is the reason they don't work oh amster pc 200 rare All right, i'm gonna, I'm gonna get being distracted by the no lid. It's in wear room. Six days to go. Mm, yeah. Well, why would I, what would I do with it? What would I do with it, really? Powers up, no way to fully test. Has no cover over ISO sockets, two clips, and broken bottom. Only manufactured for three months, as I've heard. Yeah. Well, it's the other computers from the same lot. Let's have a look at see what he's got in his other computer items. Nothing particularly exciting. Is the answer there? What about Acorn computers we got for sale? Kind of magazines, couple of masters. What we're looking for is Archimedes at stupid prices. A rare vertical acorn electron there. Atom, fifty pounds. Oh, you just gone on though. By the looks of it, that one's say fifty pounds for long. Strong arm risk PC, nine nine nine. £999. Ah, Little Hampton, we know where that's come from. That's come from the Acorn dealer I visited a few years ago. That's uh, almost guaranteed to be one of his massive stock of 
Acorn computers. It will work. It'll support it. I have a £999. Ouch. Um, yeah. Don't think I could extend to that kind of money for a risk PC. Um, oh, there, there you go. Uh, Acorn RG bit. It's the same as my one. Oh, except it has an Archimedes logo on it, not the Acorn logo that mine has. Yeah, Philips Monitor, rebadged by Acorn. Same as you got on your Amiga. Um, the Commodore monitors. Be warned when you're buying the Acorn version, if it's come off an Archimedes, guarantee it will have screen burn in where the toolbar is. Mine does. You don't see it on the game videos when I show it because the borders on the games, but the, mine definitely has screen burn down the bottom. Uh, some of them, my one is mono speaker only, uh, which is annoying. Something to watch out for. There you go. People who take photos of monitors or, or, or mirrors. There you go. There's a someone there in their living room taking a photo of it. For £80. £80? Yeah. No. Not for me, I think. Let's just see if there's any exciting Atari ST stuff on. Hmm. It could be Cali, come on. £5.26 with now to go. Got me confused. Let's try STFM, ST computer. £27. Casing of some damage. Uh, yeah. Atari Plastics. Or Tramiel era. Atari Plastics. Quite a common thing to see cracks on that section of the case i've got one with similar crack there and another crack down there common to see because especially as the plastics age they take damage very very easily weird is that, is that shadow shadows or they actually just gone orange in a weird way working when powered here i hum as they customly beep the doesn't make a beep you're mistaking it for a BBC Micro, surely. Keyboard feels good. Mate, it doesn't. It's entirely ST. The keyboard does not feel good. Computer does not work. Oh, that's the... I've gone back. <laughs> oh, I've gone back. I'm looking at the wrong wrong thing. Um, we've gone back to that elk. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Sorting it off, I found this much loved, well used Tari STFM. Floppy drive not working. 18 box game, 17 unbox game, inverted commas. Baggy boy. Baggy boy. <laughs> oh. Baggy boy. Yeah. Um, any MSX? Let's just look at any MSX computers this evening before this gets far, far, far too long. USA, Japan, Japan. Ooh, ooh, ooh what's this? It's expensive. It's in Japan. Oh, I thought I looked at that green and thought, oh, that's really funky, and then looked at that numeric keypad and it's it's labels stuck onto the. Still a nice machine. It's a hit bit. So I'll hit bit. HP F1XV MSX2 Plus, which will be the last of the line for Sony doing MSX machines. Got the speed controller and the turbo. Oh, you'd like to own that. I'd like to own it, but that ain't happening. £271. <laughs> oh, ho! Comes in Japan. Are the Toshibas rare in Japan? Because they ain't rare here. Got some cartridge games with it. But, yeah, that's quite... That's that's someone having a laugh. Surely, unless that's rare in Japan. Because those things are common as muck over here in the UK version. Uh, might it have RGB if it's the 
Japanese version. Can we see? Doesn't show me the back. But that's a quick look around eBay this evening, 27th of November 2022. Probably gone on for far too long, but hey, it will push the hours up here on Chinivision 2. Speaking of Chinivision 2, we're just shy of the 1,000 subscriber mark. And I hate saying it, but if you are a subscriber to Chinivision 1, please consider subscribing to Chinivision 2 here because it helps push the numbers up so we can get the adverts off this channel. But thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, that's another look around eBay. Won't do another one of these for a while. But uh, yeah, cheers for watching. Bye.